Okay, let's try this once more with the sound. So first you want to do a, what's called a scale. It doesn't have to be that large. In fact, you want to make a small, right? And so we want to make four. You always want to do four. And you say, why? Because you want to have one, two, three, and four. The first one's lighter. The second one's going to get a little darker. The third one's even a little darker. And of course, the fourth is darker. And so how do you do this? You don't do them individually. And you simply want to make sure that you pick your pencil up and put it down. Now, this type of pencil you're not going to be using. I'm using it for the video so that you can see the marks. But I'm constantly, I'm going to give myself a, a nice sharp one because I want nice lines. So here's my first one. And notice I'm going across the four boxes in the same direction, thus hatching. This is what hatching is, and hopefully you don't hear the bluebird in the back, but if you do, such is my life right now. Right, okay. And you may say, ooh, teacher. So now we're going to go to that second box. We're going to say the first box is white, so we want to get the, that second box a little darker. So again, I'm picking up, and it's really going to be important that you pick up your, your um, pencil off the paper, that you take it off the paper. Now you may not be able to go as fast as I do, but I should be going as fast. But make sure you keep your pencil. Notice I keep changing them, right? Because I really want to make sure. Now I'm going to the third one. I want to make sure I got a point. And I already know that this pencil, which has a beautiful black edge. Yeah, the bluebird wants me to play with it. <laughs> it wants me to feed it. So I want that, that fourth one really dark. So it should be looking lighter, a little darker, and then even darkest. And I can even go back here and make this even darker like that. And it's only because of the pencil that I have. Again, you want to make sure you have a point. I can't stop this video to make a point, but let's, I want to make sure that I hatch something, that you could see something here, right? So let's hatch this which is a bottle and that bottle goes like this again you want to have an outline right you want to have an outline I'm going to make sure that I have my bottle better than before although this time I'm looking for and notice that in right actually it goes more down like this okay and now you can if you want, as you can see, I'm very loose in my, in my drawing. You can kind of come in here if you like and clean that up a little bit, All right? Clean it up on the outside, clean it up on the inside, clean that bottle up a little bit, that top of that bottle, right? Just so that you can see the lines, okay? Again, make sure you got that edge, and then we know this is going to go like this, right? You know this is going to go like this. All right, so now let's hatch that puppy up. Oh, you know what? Let's try this pencil. It's a little, it has a little bit more. So I want to hatch. Notice I'm hatching um, the direction of the bottle, also the direction in which we did the cross contour. Again, that cross contour was to help us. Right now, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to right. I want to over here again because this is the darker side and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at which way the light is coming and so from where I am the light is coming from that way so I don't want to spend a lot of time hatching over there so I want to keep it nice and light and notice again I'm following I'm following the curve of that bottle and then this actually goes down like this and then we have this we have this elliptical, right? Right. And we could go to make that elliptical. 
right? And then we could go like we can go like that. So we could hatch it like that. Notice that flattened it out, right? Okay, so let's get this party started. This is a a black bottle that I'm looking at. And down here doesn't have and you're going to be sharpening your pencil unlike mine unlike me unlike mine you're going to be sharpening your pencil unlike my pencil which is um starting to lose i'm gonna oh maybe i can get a point here starting to lose this point you really want to get a point and you could see why you can get a nice line right and So I'm just hatching it up, hatching it up. Notice the middle part, it's gonna be, and I come over here. You can hatch short lines, you can hatch, um, you can hatch tall lines, I mean tall lines, long lines. But this should be coming to life. Right? It should be coming to life. You should be seeing a nice hatched bottle. I got my pencil sharpener kind of left me. And again, I'm using, right? I'm using this. We got to have a outline first. And notice that with hatching, when the lines are closer, it gets darker. When they're further apart, it gets lighter. Also, I'm pushing hard on my tool. I'm pushing hard on my tool. I'm not... You can barely see those lines at the top, but they're hatching marks. I have my little pencil sharpener here. And hatching is about making, you, you guys talk about shading, but hatching is an old art form and it's used when you only have a pointy tool like a pencil, a needle or something like that, right? And you can see that I'm trying to get that, those or so anyway there's our bottle right and we could come back in here and notice I'm going in a different direction I'm, everything's still parallel you do not cross over each other all right all right and then you can always go angle and on this side, since I want it darker, I'm going to go back in. Yes, I'm looking at a black bottle. Bottle of Mescal. And then you can small. Let's see. Unfortunately, I have to use this pencil so you could see it, but... But I should have, I think I do, I should have, all right, I should have myself those four, all right? And so this should be fairly, this is, it's going to be a little challenging. And I think the, the thing that's going to be most challenging is that most of you uh, who are not drawing that much or not drawing at all don't know that, again, geometric shapes like circles and circles can this is just a circle that we know but of course elliptical shapes right 
which is if you can't make it it's like that and then modify it and then um, squares rectangles um, triangles that you can build any shape if you know these shapes right and these are the flat right because if you want a circle this is making a circle kind of like three-dimensional right and then if you want a box of course right a square rather and then triangle this is and then of course what I'm doing now is making them three-dimensional and once they're three-dimensional it's just a matter of hooking them up and then right your triangle becomes a pyramid and then of course of course the cone right the cone that's really important the cone right because what you can do is you can build an entire shape with these um, um, geometric shapes so for instance this what is really that circle on the side right this is really the triangle right and this if you think about it is some circles on a square or you could just go big circles okay everything is built on this you'll hear me talk about this more and more on how to create an image real simple you simply put them all together right again let's see if I can make a really small one down here that you can see so if I wanted to do just what I said is make elliptical right and then we want to shape that up triangle I'm sorry rectangle I said triangle rectangle and then circles another circle so we've got a circle on its side and then we have another circle and then we can put another circle here Oh, you can't see it anyway. Another circle anyway to build this. All right. The idea here was not so much the shapes, but it was about hatching. So hopefully you got a couple things out of this. Make sure you, number one, pick your put your pencil down and pick it up, right? And the other thing is keep your pencil sharpened. Keep your pencil sharpened. Um, don't use a charcoal pencil because it'll get messy like this. And again, I made this specifically for you all so that you can see. Uh, and I'm drawing at this ridiculous angle ridiculous angle um <laughs> but it's all good it's all good all right i look forward to seeing your drawings bye